One year ago, federal funding cuts threatened to shut down the world's only operating underwater research lab. It sits in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, but the man-made habitat is enjoying a rebirth thanks to support from a new university sponsor. And Elaine Cajano takes the plunge for a look inside. About five miles off the coast of Key Largo sits Aquarius Reef Base. To get there, we dove 63 feet below the ocean's surface and swam to the 43-foot-long laboratory run by Florida International University. Entering through an opening in the underbelly, we met one of the scientists who calls it home, marine biologist Mike Heithouse. What makes this experience so unique for scientists? Probably the most important thing we have here is the gift of time. Marine biologists usually have to squeeze their entire day into an hour and a half or a couple hours. So at Aquarius Reef Base, you may have eight or nine hours outside underwater experiencing the reef and collecting data. Aquarius is specially designed to allow scientists to live and work on the reef for missions that typically last about 10 days. Most of the research focuses on ocean health. Scientists estimate that in some parts of the world, 90% of coral has disappeared because of pollution, warming water temperatures, or disease. We watched biologist Darren Berkeypile capturing fish to test for bacteria and viruses. Viruses cause diseases in lots of different organisms, and we don't know how many coral diseases transfer from one coral to the next, and it could be that these coral-eating fishes are really important for moving diseases around. Aquarius also draws scientists from fields outside marine biology. In September, NASA astronauts completed a 10-day mission at the lab, practicing tasks they'll complete in outer space. The extreme conditions allow for training and research that can't be duplicated on land. Aquarius Absolutely. program director Tom Potts. I like to view this as it's an immersive experience. You're not looking at it from afar or looking at it in two dimensions on a computer screen. You're living it. A unique opportunity for scientists to live and work in the place they're committed to protecting. For CBS This Morning, Elaine Quijano, Key Largo, Florida.